wanted it to happen, you know, they wanted it to be the um, the last event before Tokyo in terms of qualification to be a spot up for grabs and it, and it is here for Korea. Um, yeah, it's been um, like 80 for me has been like one of the, the standout categories in terms of quality in there. You, like I said, you've got the, the other Korean who lost out early. You've got um, you had Egypt who, who won, uh, got silver in a Grand Prix this year. You had Jordan who won a Grand Prix. So it's been a very hotly contested weight. Entering now we have Maxim Kramkov from Russia looking to take home the gold medal here today. Yeah, this would be his third consecutive Grand Slam gold if he can take her home, which is very impressive. Since he, he burst on the scene as a, a, a junior and then into senior, he's been very impressive. As a 68 and then he moved to 80. And um, he's, he's number one in the rankings now. Going to Tokyo. Um, won, the Grand, won a few of the Grand Prix this year. Uh, just won the Grand Prix final a couple of weeks ago, so in really good form. Excellent form. And here we have Namgung from Hankook Chede. National Korean University here ready to represent Korea in this final of the year in 2019. Yeah, I tell you, this lad, it won't be a boring fight, for it that way. He gives everything, he, he, he works the clinch, he breaks the distance, he's got good flexibility, like, he, even for his size, he's the same size as me. Um, 180 and he's he's given away 14 centimeters but that doesn't phase him he's already beat two very tall people in milad uh, from azerbaijan and egypt uh today yes very tall athletes very tall. 200 centimeters athletes 193 too centimeters big. Athletes. too big it's absolutely amazing he's really brave like he'll take a shot to get in that distance and unload um so i'm expecting a a good fight, uh, intense fight, but just watching his last match, I think he might be slightly more tactical. Uh, I, I think when the way he played Milad in the last couple of rounds, he was very tactical. Um, uh, with the first round, he was he was taking a lot of risks, and Milad picked him on the way in, uh, which Kramtov can do. Yeah, so it's a little bit battle of the styles. You've got tall, leggy athletes against the smaller, stockier athletes, but yeah. uh, both can kick really well at distance. And, and even Kramtsov, he, he, everyone knows, is really good in the clinch. So it's uh, it's going to be a good matchup. Both 21 years of age, but both different stories. But they're both here today, so their journeys have met. <laughs> Showing a few uh, battle scars from today, he's got a few <laughs> marks on his face. He said he's he's brave to break that distance. Let's see if he can do it here. So here we have Maxin from Russia and Namgung from Korea in red. It's gonna be lots of tussles in that short distance. Yeah, I think it's it's not about strength so much it's it's really about smartness in that distance it looks like it can be chaotic and just a fight but it's 
it's this exactly like that, trying to break the distance, but Kramtov picked them off. 2-0 to Russia. Oh, good, good chop attempt from Red. Good punch from Blue. Done unsuccessful there. Yeah, definitely playing a bit more tactical. Trying to control the distance a little bit more. <coughs> Both players looking to control each other in that distance. I know it's quiet in here a lot in this stadium, but you can feel the tension. Like, a lot of people know how much is on the line for this. Because Zed Korea wins, he's qualified for Tokyo. Which would be amazing for them, wouldn't it? To have all four spots. Yeah. Very patient start by Korea. He and Lucky there nearly scored with the back leg. Again, looks chaotic, but you can see them changing the angle, trying to create an opportunity. 4-0. And that round oh. is... 10 seconds left. It's going to be hard now with that Gamjun as well for him to pull it back. He might just accept this round's gone and look to start again in the second. That's not in Korean's nature, though. <laughs> he just goes again. Do you think it's a different mindset with this uh, round format? Yeah, I think obviously definitely the end of the rounds and the start of the rounds. Um, obviously it starts, it, it, you could win the round 20 nil, you know, and uh, and be flying, but then it starts at nil nil again. So you've got to have that mentality like I'm going out as a start at that first round. And on the flip side, you know, if you lose 20 nil, you can't get too down. It doesn't matter, that score's wiped, you've got to You've got to be able to um, start the round fresh and, um, you know, try and win that round. And you see a lot of it um, at the end of the rounds where usually, say it's 5-4, or, you know, a close match, it's like accepting that, okay, this ma th um, this round was close and then you in a normal format, you go in 5-4 down, not too much of a problem. Now it's like fighting, like, like the last seconds of a whole match, fighting to win that round. Um, so it, it, at times it creates more action, but at times as well it, it kind of takes it away. When the, when the round is comfortable for someone, they kind of stop quite early because they want to save the energy for the second or third or fourth or fifth round. Just testing the system again. In, in terms of the system working, it's, it's been all right. Just a bit, like I said, a bit inconsistent. But the finals have just had too many stops again. Yeah, where the other matches have been fine. Yeah, I don't know why that is. It's another thing where you, you've just got to stay composed. You know, you've got to, you've got to ignore what's going on and, and, and try and be 100% clear on your game plan as soon as the match does start. Because you let things like this affect you and it's yeah. just going to play into your opponent's hands. All these external factors. Try and limit them through training, you know, psych work and whatnot. And we work with your coach to try and eliminate these type of scenarios. Definitely. Maxim looking to the sky there. Hoping, searching. See that. Oh. It did work. Went on a bit late. Here we are. Second round. Oh, great reaction. 
Great reaction by Masca. As Korea tried to break the distance from too long and then he a front leg straight to the face. Again, even though it's 15 seconds in, pressure on Korea because if he doesn't win this round, he's got to win the next one. Or at least draw it to take it to a fourth. 3 2. Very nice. Oh! Great attempt there. I've just found today, um, Korea's just been looking for those extra shots. Not throws five, but scores one. Yeah. You know, he's that he, yeah, type of 100%. Attitude. He's, he's willing to put the work in to, you know, he doesn't just stop one and then look at the score. He is, he's one of them where he'll carry on and, you know, keep kicking until he, he scores. Did two press for a punch there, didn't see it. Yeah, looks like. So it'll be 3-3. Three, 3-3 three. Three, three and all to play for going into the last minute. The second round. Yeah, because that, that's why Mascom's so good. He's... Um, there's so much variation where he can kick as well what distance at length short and in the clinch exactly like that around the back they took off yep so the referee's deemed he was grabbing while he done that crescent so it'll be 4-3 to Korea taking the lead for the first time in this action Nice front leg and a headshot oh, there from Maxim. 6 4 to Russia. Yeah, and that's the, that's the problem why Korea staying at, at length. And and no, six, oh, six. Six. oh, back oh, kick very attempt. Nice back kick. 10, Ten six. 6. Really good action. Oh, again. Front leg straight up. He's found his distance. I have to change his timing on that. Just to keep Maxim guessing. Yeah, I think he's either got to keep a bigger distance from length or just keep breaking the distance. But like I said, the rush is so good at that crescent. That just scored oh. there, buddy. Nice. Oh, went under. No. 10, 13. Oh, yeah. Unlucky yeah, there. Like most people would have given that round up. You know, 13, 7 would have given that round up and he almost clawed it back at the end. But well, now there's, yeah, two, there's a lot of pressure on this round. Olympic place at stake. You're two rounds down. You need to win the next three. Or draw one and win two. You know, it's going to be very tough for him. Especially with a world number one, multiple Grand Prix winner standing in front of you. Who isn't going to take it lying down? No. Yeah, so we'll see what Korea is going to do. So for me, he can't stand in that normal distance because Russia's legs are too long and he's caught him three times with that front leg. He's either got to stand longer um, and almost accept the match is going to be tight or just continually break that distance and just keep getting in and hoping that he can get the better of the exchanges in the short distance. Third round of five. Russia leading two games to zero. Straight in. Oh, nice headshot yeah, there. Three nil again. Every round started like that. Oh, again. Yep. Six with the Crescent. Looks like this one could be done in three rounds. Yep, 8 nil. What has he got to come back? He's definitely got the heart. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a fighter. He'll never give in. Um, 
Yeah, even with the time now, Gamjuns, could he create five Gamjuns? Because for me, the points ain't coming back. Unless he can get a spin somewhere. Oh! oh lovely. Spin with attempt, but then front leg face. Great timing from Max in there. It's how you answer a spin, isn't it? Yeah. Foot to face or foot on the hugu. Don't give them any distance, react on the spot. Yeah, it's a... 45 seconds. I think for the still going. For the neutral, it's a little bit disappointing that this hasn't went another round or two, you know, because he's such a exciting fighter career and probably that he's not going to be at the Olympics. You know, he's... he's Causing trouble. Yeah, he's one of the top 80s, um, but he's one of them where he's come on the scene a little bit late, you know, and hasn't been able to get up the rankings. Yeah. He, he only had his first Grand Prix in Sofia. That was the first time he got on the, the top 32. You know, but he's showed that he's very competitive, beating the likes of Milad and Egypt, who've won yeah. Grand Prix this year. You know, so it's a, uh, yeah. It would have been nice to see him at the Olympics, but I think, like I said, I think them two eighties are going to cause a lot of trouble in uh, 2024 if they can keep up. Still trying, still trying to create something, maybe a spin or a knockout. Or, but Maskin is very in control. Just seeing the match out. Ten seconds left. Excellent work there to finish. Still looking, for, everyone's looking to score. And that is it. Maskin becomes three time Grand Slam champion. Three time Grand Slam <laughs> champion. What an amazing <laughs> achievement. You win it today, the men's minus 80. Maxim Krankov from Russia. Got to give it to Korea, great heart and spirit there, all through it, each match. Yeah, he's, he's going to go home with a few, few bruises, but um, he's going home with $20,000 as well. Um, again, the third time he's done it, so three silvers, unfortunately, couldn't couldn't topple the Russian, which would have put him you know, on top in the merit standings and qualify yeah. for Tokyo.